On the 12th of July, exactly one year ago, I downloaded the Unity game engine for the very first time. And this is my journey so far. One year of learning Unity in five minutes. Approximately two years ago, I started my bachelor in computer science. The first programming language I learned about was Java and I instantly fell in love with it. I spent pretty much every single day programming on my laptop and eventually started making games in Java, which I did for a couple of months until my friend stopped me and said, what the f*** are you doing? So I did some research and found two great game engines, Unity and Unreal. I chose Unity because it uses C Sharp, which is very similar to Java, so the first thing I did was sit down and learn C Sharp. Now, I'm a huge fan of physics. In my opinion, it's really cool how you can jump and come back down to Earth instead of flying off into outer space and dying. I mean, I don't know about you, but in my opinion, that's pretty sick. So naturally, any game with physics is my cup of tea. Particularly active ragdoll physics, like in Stick Fight the Game, Human Fall Flat, Gang Beasts, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and the list goes on. So essentially games where you have ragdolls that's being controlled by forces and physics instead of animations. There's something really cool about that and I want to do that myself. And I'm in luck because Unity has a built-in physics engine I can use instead of trying to build my very own in Java using duct tape and glue because that usually doesn't work out very well and I'm speaking from experience here. So, it was time for me to make my very own physics-based game. I started with a stickman ragdoll character, but he didn't stick together very well. But eventually I learned about joints and put a little ragdoll together, but he wasn't very good at balancing, so it was time to learn how I could use my programming knowledge with Unity. I started by following the official Unity tutorials, which helped me get into the very basics. Then with a quick YouTube search, I found some amazing YouTube channels that teach Unity for free, such as Brackies and Blackthorn Prod. This helped me understand the general workflow of Unity, and I was quickly standing on my own feet. And so was my little friend too. Fast forward 3 months, it's October and I've gone through many prototypes to improve the ragdoll character. At this point I've changed it quite a bit and there are many new features. You can now pick up and shoot guns, grab onto things, and even play the game with several players. The plan is to create a game with many different worlds you can play through with your friends, and the map you're looking at here is the first world set in a Wild West theme on a train chase. Yet again, fast forward a little more than 3 months and I've learned so much more about Unity and C Sharp that I realize how bad the project currently is. So I scrapped it and remade the ragdoll, as well as refactoring and changing the entire project consisting of around 8000 lines of code. And thus I had a new ragdoll character I was much more happy with, as well as a much cleaner code in general. I also started working on a new medieval world, as I was having a lot of trouble with the Wild West one and just kind of wanted to start something new, so I put the Wild West world aside for now and I might come back to it later on. I kept working hard and made a lot of progress on my game, which I've titled Off the Sticks. But I wasn't quite satisfied. I would see other game developers make all sorts of cool projects, and I wanted to do that as well. I don't want to be known as a one-trick pony. So I started experimenting a bit more with Unity to test my skills, and one of the short projects I did was making a bad replica of Minecraft, which I called Bad Crafts. But I wanted to properly prove myself as a game developer, and what better way to do that than participating in a game jam where you have to make a game in 48 hours. And so I did. The 48 hours began and I spent the first 5 hours wondering what I was doing with my life, about to give up, but then I sat my ass back down and got to work, and 43 hours later I delivered a somewhat finished game, and I made a video about the entire process, link is down below. After this, I continued working on Off the Sticks, while also putting some time into other projects. I finished a little gladiator simulation game, which I had a lot of fun making. I might also eventually implement this into Off the Sticks and make it its very own world, or at least minigame. This brings us to today, the 12th of July 2019, one year later. I've learned incredibly much about Unity, game development, programming, art and so much more. I've met some great people and it's been a really fun journey so far. I'm still working hard on Off the Sticks and I'm hoping to release it on Steam one day. 
I also have a couple of cool side projects I'm working on right now, but I won't reveal them just yet. So there it is, everything I've learned and done so far with Unity in 5 minutes. It's been a hectic year filled with studying, working a part-time job, and learning Unity while also trying to keep a social life, but let's be real, who really needs a social life anyway? Big thanks to my Patreon supporters for their amazing support, I really appreciate all of you, and of course massive thanks to you, the viewer watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to smash like, and if you didn't, then smash dislike, and if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.